as the adults argue over who would be the best choice for the next superintendent, students are faced with the possibility of another teacher sick out to start this school year. News 2's Joe Collins here now with the impact this non-decision is having on children and their parents. Michael, Sylvia, there has been a lot of frustration among the parents for how the vote for a new superintendent has been handled. And now that frustration has even reached some students of East Baton Rouge schools as well. One of the parents who spoke at the board meeting Thursday night is a Baton Rouge stylist named Tanya McMillan. She has a son in East Baton Rouge schools and says she started going to these meetings after her complaints about her son's school were never addressed. I feel personally insulted because my time is valuable. And I spent my time going to school board meetings, speaking at school board meetings, emailing my representatives. And at the end of the day, you already had your mind made up. One complaint she had in the past was her son's playground had glass in it. Her son brought it up at a meeting. She says they promised to do something about it. It wasn't until another kid cut themselves on the glass that the problem was addressed. And I tell people who are supposed to be mandated reporters about some of the emotional and mental abuse that was happening to some of those children, and none of them did anything about it. So as of today, those kids have left the district. And this is one of our best schools. Students at schools across Baton Rouge have also began to speak up. One student from McKinley Middle Magnet School says she had seen firsthand bus drivers and teachers not show up at school. I go through multiple teachers because they're getting tired. They go through low pay wages. They're going from paycheck to paycheck. And they have to deal with the students. Honestly, I feel bad for them. McMillan says that it seems like the school board hears what people are saying, but are choosing not to listen. Multiple parents who have spoken at WBRZ say that if teachers do not show up on the first day of school, they would support it. The reasoning behind the support being they feel like their democratic process has been disrespected. All right. Sylvia?